One argument I have frequently seen on online communities by many people attempting to defend something is, if you don't like it, why do you keep using it? However, I could actually use this in a different way by talking about Microsoft Windows. Now, Microsoft Windows is that product that everybody loves to hate, but they keep using it anyway. People complain about how updates take forever, how their new product does not work with the new version of Windows, and how they have to run out and buy a new one, or how if it does work with Windows, it's a pain to get it working. Or they'll complain about how this program doesn't work anymore, or how they got this new spyware because they clicked on free toolbars, free cursors. Or they'll complain about how they have to run a bunch of utilities trying to make the new version of Windows look like the old version because Microsoft made a very controversial user interface change. Or they'll now complain about how Microsoft Windows is this NSA botnet or whatever the term is this week because of telemetry. Now, I understand, a lot of those are valid complaints. For example, Windows 10 searching has been slow on various computers I've tried it on compared to 7's, which was pretty fast, when it comes to the start menu, that is. And let's not forget how Windows 10 activation is so flaky that you lose your activation if you put a new hard drive in your computer. Yeah, that's how flaky it is, and nobody likes Windows activation either. So, I'm here to propose an alternative. Just install Linux. You see, Linux is a free operating system that is both free as in it respects your rights, and it's free as in it doesn't cost anything. You want to customize your computer? You can. And it's also a lot faster than Windows is too, and it makes your laptop run cooler as well. And it gives you better battery life because your processor is not being overworked by Windows Update running in the background. And did I mention that when you run updates in Linux, you usually don't have to reboot your computer, unlike with Windows where you have to reboot your computer every time you do an update? More and more devices work on Linux as well, and I even have a USB to serial dongle that does not work on a new version of Windows, but it works on Linux just fine. And did I mention that Linux also works with many modern computers these days? Now, while you will have to install firmware with many Wi-Fi cards, there are some Wi-Fi cards like Athros ones that require no Wi-Fi firmware whatsoever. And AMD and Intel GPUs have open source drivers with Linux, while NVIDIA on the other hand doesn't like Linux very much, but then again NVIDIA is a horrible company and you honestly shouldn't support them because of stuff like NVIDIA Gameworks. Installing Linux is not very hard, and you can do many of the same things you could do on Windows, such as browse Facebook, browse Twitter, browse YouTube, and uh, write Word documents. More and more games have Linux ports now on Steam for Linux, including Gary's Mod, Team Fortress 2, and of course Minecraft has a Linux version because it's a Java game. So in case you only play those three games, there are Linux versions of them. There are also Linux versions of other more popular Steam games. However, if you want to know why there aren't more Linux games, it's because many people talk about how Windows is bad, but instead of actually moving to Linux like they should have a long time ago, they continue to use Windows and tape a sinking ship. I mean, look at how people are reacting to the whole telemetry issue. In fact, it actually got ported to Windows 7 again, and people are trying to find workarounds instead of just switching to Linux already, because here's the thing with Linux. You get the freedom to modify the code however you want it. You don't get that in Windows. You can also use a different desktop environment if you think the new desktop environment on Windows is garbage. And I'm going to be real here. One of the reasons Linux gaming isn't that big is because there's such a low market share. I mean, sure, you see lots of people talking about how they're eventually going to move to Linux, how Windows is so bad, but do you actually see them do it? No, you don't. And that's the thing. If Linux gaming really wants to pick up, it all starts with people like you who might as well switch to Linux because after all, if Steam for Linux had a greater market share, maybe more developers would develop for it. And that's one of the reasons why Valve was trying to do Steam machines as well. I mean, gamers are boycotting Windows 10 like they did the PC version of Modern Warfare 2, and now Windows 10 has a huge 16% market share in just a month compared to Linux, which only has under a single percent. And yet you see people complaining and complaining about how Windows doesn't work, but yet they continue to use it anyway. So here's the thing, if Windows really is the worst operating system out there, why haven't you used Linux yet? 
And especially considering how Linux has a lot of advantages, especially if you're an administrator or a programmer. So yeah, that's all I need to say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more thoughts.